When you're a high-ranking official talking about diplomatic efforts in Ukraine, the last thing you want to do is drop your guard. So that would be great, I think, to help glue this thing and have the UN help glue it and, you know, f*** the EU. But that is exactly what reportedly happened between US Assistant Secretary of State Victoria Newland and US Ambassador to Ukraine Jeffrey Pyatt. The exchange has since surfaced online, including the crude swipe at the European Union. The audio clip of a woman and man, said to be Newland and Pyatt, hears them discussing strategies to work with the three main opposition figures. I don't think Cleach should go into the government. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's a good idea. In terms of him not going into the government, just let him sort of stay out and do his political homework and stuff. I'm just thinking in terms of sort of the process moving ahead, we want to keep the moderate Democrats together. The problem is going to be Tony Book and his guys. And, you know, I'm sure that's part of what Yanukovych is calculating on all of this. I think Yats is the guy who's got the economic experience, the governing experience. He's, he's the guy, you know, what he needs is Cleach and Tony Book on the outside. He needs to be talking to them four times a week, you know. I, I, I just think Cleach going in, he's going to be at that level working for Yatsenyuk. It's just not going to work. There is a suggestion for Newland to contact Klitschko directly to play to his top dog sensibilities. While Newland refers to getting the United Nations involved in a political solution. And that's where the unfortunate comment arises. I'm obviously not going to comment on private diplomatic conversations, uh, other than to say uh, it was pretty impressive tradecraft. The audio was uh, extremely clear. Hello, how are you? Good to see you. We're here from America. Would you like some bread? Please take something. Thank you for coming here. This was Newland and Pyatt visiting Independence Square in Kiev in December, handing out food to protesters and police. This latest episode is embarrassing for the US and allows Russia to argue that the opposition is being manipulated by Washington, something that Barack Obama has always denied. The clip was said to have been posted online by the Russian deputy PM, but that has not yet been confirmed.